How's it going boys? Today we're revisiting MILF Tribute. Oh yes. So you're probably thinking, why are you revisiting this deck so fast? Who hurt you? Well, the answer is, well, pretty much honestly everything and anyone and anything possible, but that's besides the point. So 4 revitalize, 2 search for a scandal, 2 lightning strikes, 2 justice strikes, 2 clear the mind, 4 sinister sabotage, 4 absorbs, 2 deafening clariots, 3 excellence bindings, 2 settled wreckages, 3 e chemists insights, 3 cleansing nose, 3 rowls, 1 omniscience, and a bunch of lands and 1 detection tower. So, why would you ever revisit the deck so fast? Just because we didn't deal with planeswalkers good enough, so I need to fit in 3 excellence bindings. And then we need a little bit more card draw, so we sacrificed a bunch of things, and someone commented the Deafening Clarion would be an excellent card for the deck. And that person was right. So, this is what we're gonna be doing. Also, I really just like the deck, so yeah. Also, there's no real point in having Lightning Strike, I'm just kind of uh, a little fearful chum. That someone's just gonna uh, triple rask my rolls and then that's it. No more win condition for us. So, you know, we're, we're kind of working on that assumption a little bit. Just a little bit, but we are. So, also, you know, it's it's a fun deck. So, I actually currently enjoy this deck probably the most of everything I play. So, you know, bonus points for that, I guess. Also, we do have a new Patreon. Karl Dalton. Or Dalton, if you're looking in the Russian part of things. But I'm assuming he's not Russian, because the word, the word Karl does not exactly translate into Russian. So that's a thing. So, green, red, and a glow sport shaman. Well, can't say I don't like li having lightning strikes at uh, time to time. That's a pretty good card. Okay, so we need to keep something open. We have three negates open up for business, so that's going to be pretty impressive if I do say so myself. And, you know, a little bit of AOE clearance. And he did chose a land. Okay, this is actually not the best because we do need to drop that search for a scant. Maybe we're going to get Deafening Clarion value. Deafening Clarion. A very interesting card in my honest and utmost honest opinion. Also, let's move the uh, let's move the mug right there. Okay, so that that makes me feel a little bit better. Just watched Game of Thrones. Pretty good. What the fuck is this? I'm gonna keep that in the library. Okay, we have something to kill this, but I'm not exactly sure what the hell am I supposed to do. Uh. That decks really expect a Ruin Raider to, uh, to pop up. What is this? Hmm. Interesting. I'm just gonna counterspell this because otherwise we're not using our mana in particularly for anything. And I do want a Cleansing Nova. No. A decent card, but currently we're just looking for lands. And flipping the Ascanda does sound extremely, extremely potent. Okay. Maybe I should honestly kill that guy. Ral. Sadly, Ral also needs to go to the graveyard and more. Ah, this is... You know what? I'm just gonna get value out of the Deafening Clarion. I'm just gonna do it. Or I could just still wait in Sinister Sabotage. Kinda depends. Stitches Supplier, you say? Okay, Stitches Supplier can do Stitches Supplier things, I guess. Okay, Necrotic Wounds, like always. Why you use Necrotic Wounds? I don't know. I honestly don't think it's a good card. Play something else, dude! Come on, play something else! Or I should just actually kill this because it's getting annoying. The library. And now I guess I'm gonna do this. Just because I can, and just because I feel it's time. So yeah! We had we had a bunch of counter spells, but sadly we couldn't do too much with this. What is this? Gains death touch until death of the end of the turn. Draw a card, huh? Okay, I guess that's a card. Damn. Okay, that's not really threatening, so I'm actually gonna just you know leave that there. Okay, we can't really afford to put every Ral we possess in the graveyard, but we do need five lands for playing Ral, so you know. 
a little bit problematic. Well, I'm gonna be able to shuffle my great. Yeah, you see, that's that's one of the things we want to get rid of because no bueno today. Uh, chemist's inside. Actually, not a bad card to uh, to have. Could alleviate a little bit of the pressure, but it's gonna be in the graveyard. So yeah. Also, jump start. Jump start is pretty good. Jump start is definitely pretty good. Library transformatize. Okay, this is actually good enough. Now we can get the card advantage rolling. Let's just instantaneously do this and show him that we have a sinister sabotage. You know, it's fine. He's gonna play something because he's gonna start to feel the pressure. See, he's playing something because he's starting to feel the pressure. He's gonna play something. Why is he not playing anything more? Does he have some kind of combo that makes that guy have haste? I have a strange feeling he might may have some kind of combo that, that makes that guy have hate. Okay, do I actually want to just wipe everything? Oh, not the most efficient usage of mana I've ever seen game. So let's actually have decent usage of mana. Okay, in case anything we have just this strike and that's the and this is the point where we can finally like get uh, get rolling with the uh, with the advantage of counter spilling stuff. Yeah, maybe that's the only card he plays. If that's true, that's gonna be good. It looks like he's really saving the Kral Harpooner, which is interesting. Well, I guess it's fine. So, now the absolute advantage is in our complete another possession, so we can just do this. And we can draw with search for a scant. Essentially, we have absolutely one without any questions asked. Good stuff. Excellence binding, no need additional excellence bindings. We need to find the RAL or we need to find something else. Uh gonna use the search for a scant, not the chemist's inside currently. More counter spells, you say? Search for a scant and additional search for a scant. Yeah, that does seem up my alley to be honest, so just gonna do that. Okay, that's actually good. We're gonna use that next turn. Okay, so we want to use that because there, there's a bunch of Ral Izzet boys that we want to play. And yeah, serious question, why does he have the Cruel Harpooner? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because he just surrendered. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so first win, first game, first everything. Good, good, good things happen to those who wait. Okay. God, I actually do really enjoy playing this deck. I, I find it fun. It has the perfect amount of counter spells, board wipes, and annoyance in through planeswalkers. And now it even deals good with planeswalkers, because every deck that played Vivian Raid honestly just annoyed me to uh to hell and back. Search for a scant, that's pretty good. Also a chance to drop Sinister Sabotage. Oh no, wait, it's an aggro deck, so there's always that a good good chance that we just lose because well aggro decks. But if we do stabilize, we're gonna definitely win because counter spells are very, very good against aggro decks. If you stabilize, obviously. I don't know if stabilization is an option though. Looks like well we have the red for any type of things that we wanna do. So we can settle the wreckage soon, and we can almost cast Absorb, but we can definitely cast this. Okay, that's that's not good. That's honestly not good game. That is definitely not what I would call good. Oh, revitalize. That's actually going to be a relatively useful card pretty soon. But we need to search for other things. Adjust the strike is exactly one of those things that we're searching for. Most likely it's going to be just a strike on the Goblin Chain Ruler, just to not take additional damage. Uh, that's 3 damage, that's 2 damage. But I am kind of extremely hoping for a settled wreckage next turn, so I need to do this. Okay, land? No, that's not a land. Good enough, I guess. Okay, hopefully search for a scan that pays off, because search for a scan is a great card. Please do not hit me in the face with something extremely painful and deadly. That is extremely painful and deadly. Game, you are not listening to me. That's actually good. You see, this is why we have deafening Calarions in our deck, because it's amazing. Okay, so yeah. 
Good thing we binged Revitalize, because the Revitalize is one of those cards you're like, oh, we could binge it, or we could, you know, uh, not binge it. I'm dead, aren't I? The chances that he can't kill me on 5 HP, literally non-existent. Graveyard, obviously, good stuff game. Revitalize, you say? So, there is a chance. It honestly doesn't matter what we do here. This is, like, the, the most maybe survive instantaneously thing. But the fact that that red deck has three lands and we have, well, now he has four lands. Oh my god! Okay, graveyard. Uh, so yeah, we can't absolutely use anything. Okay, now we can. Good. That's at least lucky. Okay, so here is how we stabilize. We pray to little baby Jesus Jr. that he did not drop Kill yourself! Okay, so back to playing to little Jesus Baby Jr. Because nothing else is gonna absolutely work on, in any circle. Okay, that's that's something that may work. Please draw a land and draw another land. I cannot... Okay, of course. A fucking course. Well, at the bare minimum, he was incapable of playing it. And we do have enough for a single counter spell, so that's actually good. That's actually real good, not gonna lie. A counter spell that gives us HP. And then we can drop a Ral that can be used as removal and some other things. So we're essentially as close to victory here as possible. He's gonna try and use Risk Factor, I think. So I'm gonna try to absorb the Risk Factor. Anything else any anyway kills me, so honestly, it doesn't matter again. Well, that's something. Okay. So, we still have revital to revitalize in our deck. A couple of absorbs and a little bit of those things. And that's the problem. Yeah, he can just do that. Well, now it's a red deck. I am on 6 HP. And he has infinity potential right there. Ugh. Well, actually, we can do something with the Ral. But we can do more with this. We need settled wreckage. So, currently, the non greedy play would be Search for a Skant. But honestly, I don't see us winning from Search for a Skant. So, I'm gonna just do this and hope for a counter spell that gives life. Let's see what we get. Absolutely nothing of fucking even remote value. Good stuff. Okay, great. If we only had a turn to draw things. Well, yeah, I think I still think we're dead, honestly. But, you know, this was the highest probability chance for us to legitimately win. Like, he, it's a red deck. If he did not, yeah, it's... It's a red deck that ne needs 20 fucking... S oh, my God! Okay, so... We're doing this because we have settled the wreckage of anything. Absorb, that's actually excellent. And now we can either settle the wreckage on that thing and absorb the next thing. So essentially, we still have a chance. Which seems odd, but it's true. It's true. We still have some kind of remotely strange, ludicrous chance. Aha, uh -huh, Goblin Chain Whirler, you say? Fuck your goblin chain verler. Admittedly, I do think he has one more. He doesn't! Holy shit! Holy shit! He didn't draw anything that just flat out kills us. Well, that's close enough, honestly, but you know. Uh, no cigar just yet. Will he attack with the, the two things, or he will attack with one thing? He has a Tefari Avatar, so he's obviously faking even having IQ. Come on! Come on, you dirty fucking asshole! Oh, you're attacking with one, that does not matter. Okay, so it doesn't really matter because we can still roll minus uh, the runaway Steamkin, and that's gonna be pretty good. That's gonna be pretty good. So, essentially, that part does not matter. He gets only one land. Ah. Uh, now we're gonna do this 100% because we need to draw a counter spell. 
We drew a counter spell. Okay, and we can do the, min the minus 13 on this guy. So currently, the only thing that legitimately allows him to win is just one more risk factor. If risk factor does not happen, we can still magically win with 1 HP. Okay, that's actually legitimately really good. Uh, let's search for a scant because again, we're pre- Okay, revitalize. That is very good. That gives us essentially just one more turn. Okay, let's see. Let, uh, clear the mine is there. Well, he's gonna probably surrender before clear the mine needs to be played. But yeah. Ooh, I really want to take it, but we need to take clear the mine. Otherwise, we don't have a win condition anymore. So, I'm gonna use this instantaneously. If we use clear the mine, no, we can't use the clear the mine just yet. We can just do this, and there's not going to be a single punish. Oh uh, yes, sinister sabotage seems fine, and that's all she wrote. We have two counter spells, which essentially means we deal even with the risk factor, and we have a roll that draws us additional cards. This is currently as good as it's gonna get. We were close to that. See, I tell you playing the Rall is the right choice. Other choices were essentially safer, but winning off those choices seemed like extremely, extremely unlikely. So yeah, it paid off. It paid off to be to be a bad boy, boys. It always does. Look at him. Let's, let's just do your go. Good game. <laughs> BM the shit, the shitty red deck. Now this is the part where he just pulls out the pulls out the bane fire and I cry myself to sleep. But let's pretend that's hello. <laughs> ah, I'm actually flipping him off in real life currently. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, you're a red deck that did not get to win. Oh, now you're gonna rope me because you're a child. Good stuff. Gunkslinger? Gunkslinger? No one cares. No one absolutely cares. Ah, oh, when the plan comes together. When the plan just flat out comes together. This is how it's supposed to look. This is uh, how it's supposed to feel. Okay, so next turn we're cleansing the mind. Well, clearing the mind. And then we're doing the rolls because we will have revitalize options and we're gonna have more of these things. So, you know, that's essentially it. Actually, how many revitalizes? Three, yeah. So, 26 cards, blah blah blah, no lands. It's essentially good. Hello! How's it going, red deck brain brainlet? How's it going? Huh? Huh? Ah, the, 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 this roping actually makes me feel good. Look at that. A red deck player who didn't get to win. Feels good. Feels pretty sugoi, not gonna lie. Stuff. Oh yes. I am currently pretty goddamn happy. Pa-ra-dum, 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 pum pum and victory. I'm not gonna lie, a completely, completely honest victory. Whew! Now that does, that, that, that does give me a slight chum. That does give me a slight chum. Let's open the victory pack. We haven't done that in a while now. Okay, and the victory- Oh my god, it's probably a rare card. No, it's a Prime Speaker Venifar. Not exactly a thing that I'm ever gonna probably put in any of my decks, but Hey, it's a Prime Speaker Renifar, so good enough. Ah, it's one of those rare cards that I still actually need from Ravnica, because I have most most Ravnica cards. You know, you play a lot, you buy some packs, you, you spend some real-life gold, you buy some packs. Ah, uh, let's see now what, he, what happens here. Maybe nothing happens. Well, we do not have a mana for an Absorb, but we do have an Ixalan's Binding, Cleansing, Nova, and Rull. So if we do not get completely, completely ass stomped in the early game, we do have potential in the mid to late game with this. Obviously it depends on what kind of uh, deck that he has. And this is definitely greedy. Not 100% sure should I mulligan. 
Because I do see the potential here. If that's not some kind of aggro deck, we definitely have some good potential uh, right here. But I think I will mulligan. Okay, that was absolutely horrible. As expected. You can't win too many games or the game is gonna get mad at you, you know. Uh, like that angry lover type, you know. Oh look, it's a mono blue deck. Well, the only good part about this is the simple fact that uh, he's not gonna counterspell anything of mine. Because I don't have anything that can be counterspelled. What a time to be alive. Oh yeah, start off with the Charmander, why don't you? It's, okay, we actually have cards. Uh, non-usable cards, but cards nonetheless. Cards nonetheless. I want to get rid of this because uh, Tempo Blue Dicks get this thing adapted really fast. And that adaptation actually hurts a lot. So, free money, you say? A gin? Seems about right, honestly. Uh, no, of course, the Curious Obsessions. The only good, uh, good side here was the it was in the turn 1 Curious Obsessions. Well, it was, well, it was a turn, turn 2 Curious Obsessions, essentially, almost. But yeah, oh, look at that, in protection. Please give me a white land so I can punish. Ka-ching. Ka-ching! And it's gonna get counterspelled. What a player! What a champion! Oh, man, that took so... Oh, dive down. Okay. What a champion! He, he has dive down, boys. He, he has dive down. Woo! Man, what the hell? Oh, I have actually seen this before. I don't really understand it or get it, but hey, I have seen it before. So, what the hell they can actually use that the Charmander gets killed? Well, there's a couple of things, honestly. I'm not exactly sure how many of those things are practical in, in, in usage currently. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. If nothing happens, we re revitalize. If something happens, we absorb. Okay. He's just gonna attack? Yeah, seems like he's just attacking. Damn. Cast down. Not cast down, but you know, dive down. A pretty good card. Pretty good card most of the time. Well, he's playing something. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna absorb this. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. Well, it does matter a little bit, but you get the point. Okay, so... Chemist's Insight. Biggest draw we can have. Good, good, good. Wait, actually, that's bad. We have a Hallowed Fountain. Not exactly uh, the pride and joy currently of mine. Okay, we can't really get rid of this, but he hasn't dropped any more Harpies or anything like that. So at least bonus points for us for that. Uh, favorable wins does make, make, make it a little bit awkward, but that's fine. At the bare minimum, we can do this now. Plus Chemist's Insight. I'll double up on the Chemist's Insight, essentially. Settle the wreckage. These, these would be good cards, but they are sadly bad cards. So, what's our solution to this situation? He's gonna adapt. Wait, he could have adapted previously. Okay, so he's not smart enough to adapt. Great. We're playing up against the, the typical. Okay, that's actually a virtual uh, sinister sabotage. I'm okay with you counterspelling this. If only I get vital in so I can cleansing now and clear the sins off the table. That would feel actually epic. Okay, he's thinking about counterspilling the Sinister Sabotage. I have no mana left, I have almost no life left, you can adapt and make this into a 7-7 seven, seven and kill me in two turns, and yet he needs to 50 fucking minutes to figure out that, hey, using spell pierces may be a good idea. Oh god. Everyone who plays Tempo Blue Aggro red and aggro white deserves. Oh, this is not bad. Deserves to hang from three branches. So, I don't think he's stopping this now, is he? He could have a dive down. He has a dive down. I can't really use this part. Oh, wait, I can! You press, you press the resolve. 
you press the resolve and you know you, you press the resolve button it, it resolves every fucking thing fuck this game okay yeah detection tower i'm so happy i added you into the deck you were almost useful once in your pathetic life good stuff okay that was completely amazing should have detection tower pri prior, but I did not know that I can't just, you know, click that and it... Sometimes I wish I knew, uh, knew how to uh, just activate full control. I sometimes wish I actually knew how to do that, but I don't, sadly. Yeah, that was pretty much a winnable game. Four lands are all lightning strike and clear the mind. Not good, but not bad. So, let's just see how this happens now. We do have a lightning strike, so essentially... Oh, it's a Tefari deck. Okay, it's a Tefari deck, boys. Everything that starts off at the Hallowed Fountain is a Tefari deck. Well, okay, at least we have a counterspell. Which essentially just means we can counterspell the Tefari and we can cleanse the mine now because otherwise it's used. Okay, cleansing Noah. Not exactly good, not exactly bad. There's no way he drops anything remotely useful here. So yeah, we're just gonna play for the... We're just gonna play here for the something. So it's a Tefari deck with Thought Racer. Yeah, that's Sinister Sabotage down the drain. Who, who, who would have expected, boys? Who would have honestly expected? Not me. Not me. But we're gonna get our Rall down, so that's not exactly bad. I think he's just waiting for us to use the Rall. But we're gonna do it a little bit otherwise. Oh, he doesn't have lands. So he has counter spells. He doesn't know we have uh, we have chemists inside. He's gonna use the. He's not playing anything until he gets a bare minimum of five lands. So we might as well just. Actually, he has a full hand. It seems. Well, it doesn't matter if he has a full hand, because he most likely has a removal. You know of the other. Yeah. At least we're baiting out some counter spells. You know, it's kind of a little bit sad to lose Rall right there. But on the other hand, it's actually Bertwell. We can also burn uh, Chemist's Inside down. Okay, he plays that for mana? For life? I think he just knows what's com uh, what's happening. So that's why he's playing it for... Oh, Lord. That's a card. That's definitely a card. Huh. Well, it's a free chemist inside at the bare minimum. He probably just uh, saw if he can sense. What the hell? Oh, that's cool alternative land. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. That's a problem. So the point is, we don't really exactly want him to play this again. So cancel. I want to use this cleansing nova. Okay. So, we lose. That's essentially what's happening. There is pretty much no way <laughs> to outplay this shit. Sadly, this is impossible to outplay. He didn't use that. Interesting. Okay. Now he has the, he has the mon, so it doesn't matter. Okay, can I do it this turn? Yes, I can. Okay. So, let's just get rid of the Deafening Clarion. Hmm, not exactly good. Okay. So, the bad part, by the way, I'm eating sweets. Yeah. Call me fat in the comments if you like. I actually kind of just did that now. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely the play. Okay, so he doesn't know about the second cleansing novel, so this does give us a chance. Oh my god, he just let it happen, huh? If we got down a free search for a scanta, we could win. But the problem is, it doesn't look like that's possible. I'm not doing anything because I want to fin finish eating the sweet. Okay, so here's the thing. Does he protect Darwin's acuity? 
Does he do it, actually? I honestly kind of need this burned, so I'm most likely using the uh, the absorb to counter it. You can't have him uh, him getting draw engines, so that's essentially what we're doing here. But I did kind of want to save this in case we get search for a scant, because in a matchup like this currently, knowing his cards, and he got uh, the most likely thing he picked out is one more Mirari conjecture. That is the most by far likely thing he picked out. And that's absolute fucking sadness that we just got what we got. Okay. Uh, counter spells, Ixalan's binding. That is good. That is good, but that's not gonna do anything, sadly. Yeah, Mirari conjecture instantaneously. He can just Mirari conjecture. Uh, where is it? Oh, he got it already out. He can just Mirari conjecture that thing, and it's fine. <clears throat> So the real question is, how the fuck do we do, uh... This is gonna be a little bit problematic. I can't, uh... He's gonna counterspell this because no reasonable person just lets Omniscience happen. The problem is we don't have enough mana to just Ixalan's binding the Mirari Conjecture. Also, the problem is... Fuck. That's the problem. Okay, so he knew it's bait. So the problem also is he can just Thought Erasure or Mastermind's Acquisition. Mastermind's Acquisition, most likely one more Mirari Conjecture. So we need to do this anyway because we're running out of time, but yeah. Pretty easy to tell that we lose against this. Oh. So he doesn't want to use the counter spell because he just has one more Mortify. Yeah, we essentially 100% lose. There is no way we win against a deck like this. Just from the moment uh, I saw Mirari Conjecture and, uh, where is it, Mastermind's Acquisition, it was pretty damn clear that there's absolutely no way to win. Sad, but true. Sad, but true. We're gonna see how far we get, but again, with, without getting a fast search for a Skanta, literally impossible to win. Literally impossible to win. Because he's just gonna cycle value and always have a counter spell pretty much no matter what happens. And that's essentially why he will win. Again, if we did have something as simple as a search for a Skanta, we could win. But we don't. Oh, settled wreckage, that's good. And he seemingly does not have... He probably... Well, I'm not sure. Does he not have any kind of AOE, AOE removal? I'm pretty sure he should at the bare minimum have his own cleansing novice. Pretty sure that should be the case. And yeah, now he's just doubling up this. Choose a card outside the deck. And he can easily choose a planeswalker. Or whatever the hell he pleases. It doesn't matter. It does not matter at this point. We lose. Yeah, it's just easy to tell that you're gonna lose a game like this. You need to. You need very specific cards to win a, uh, a, a deck that is much... What? Oh, Chromatic Latin? Is this really a Planeswalker deck? Because it does look like it, uh, it has possibilities. So yeah. Kinda sad. Well, Chemist's Inside is definitely a card. He's not gonna counterspell it because there's no reason to. Uh, that's good. Essentially, that's better than nothing. Get rid of this. Maybe we get one more. Chemist's Inside would not be bad. Ah, he counterspells the last one. Yeah, kinda expected. Okay, so the question now becomes, we have a chance to win at this moment, because there is a chance that he's out of counter spells, which seems to be the lowest chance in the history of ever, but it is a chance. And that he, when he drops his most likely Planeswalker choice, he doesn't do anything? Dude, you, you cast a double, double Mastermind's Acquisition. Why aren't you doing anything? Well, I guess it doesn't matter really at this point. But yeah, we had a chance, but that didn't chance implied that we had a search for a Skanta up. I have the card Nivuru. Okay, cool. Well, that's definitely a card. Kai's Brat. Oh my god, did he misclick something? 
I think that definitely seems to be a chance that he misclicked something. Maybe I think he did because there's no chance he doesn't get additional boosts uh but when using double masterminds acquisition. That's like the point. Okay, but you know Ah Absorb. Okay, so we have a chance in uh via absorb. If we get some, uh, if we get search for the Skanda still, we do have a slight possibility inkling. Yeah, I was kind of expected. So, the point is, we can't really let this happen. If he counterspells this, there's no chance. He doesn't have counterspells. Okay, wow. I'm not sure, oh, and we drew a land. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I think he either misclicked on something when he used his uh, Mastermind's acquisition. He didn't put something in the deck, or what exactly is happening? I don't know. Braskas, he took something out. I'm I'm guessing he's just searching for his. Uh, no, he just took a land. This this guy's just an idiot. <laughs> this guy's just an idiot. Again, if if uh, if I didn't I didn't have the uh, correct anything to deal with anything, then we still haven't drawn a Ral, which is the saddest part. Okay, so the moment he just drops anything that, you know, is a win condition, we lose. But currently, it doesn't seem like that's happening. He's surveilling, he got rid of the Ixalan's Binding, which is kind of nonsensical. Because what exactly am I going to use Mortify on? But yeah, so it currently looks like we have a pretty good chance if we just counter the second click. Uh, oh. Yeah, I can't allow that to happen. If he counterspells that, it's fine because we still have a cleansing Nova. But if he doesn't counterspell it, it's still fine. Okay. So that's not bad. That's not bad because of a multitude of uh, multitude of reasons. The biggest one being uh, more lands. Good stuff. I'm assuming he's just not dropping his lands. It's like the classical bait and switch. Oh, look at that. Oh, Tot Erasure. Why? Well, because it surveils one. So yeah, this guy, I think he just fucked up. That's essentially all it looks like. It really just looks like he fucked up. So, I'm assuming he only has one more cleansed easy mind. Which just pretty much means one thing. He has one more cleansed mind. We're keeping drawing the lands because reasons. Our searches for a Skanta are most likely our last cards. I can't drop a singular search for a Skanta because it's gonna get mortified. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Absorb. Now that's good. Now I have so there is a chance we can win just by counterspelling the second clear the mind. There is a pretty good chance that that can have st <laughs> Game, stop giving me the fucking lands! 14 cards! No search for the Skandas. Maybe I discarded one somehow? No, I have not discarded the search for the Skanda. Good stuff. Okay, I'm assuming he now has counter spells. Do I actually do it? Ooh, I need to find at least one search for a Skanda, so I'm not doing it just yet. I need to find a search for a Skanda, I need to protect the search for a Skanda, and then we can win. That's essentially what it looks like. But the game's not making it easy. The game's not making it easy. We currently have a 25-ish percent chance to draw a search for a Skanda. It's not happening, though. Definitely not happening. Okay. My turn. I could draw more counter spells. Yeah, that's good. At least we're drawing counter spells. So yeah. Very, very peculiar. We have two counter spells which gives us essentially a, a advantage. We can also lightning strike his face. Very interesting last uh, last game of the day. I'm assuming he's either amassing counter spells. Or he's just flat out, I don't know, because th there's no chance he does not have multiple, uh, two, two or three more absorbs. That's like the thing. I think he's trying to amass all his absorbs so he can safely cleanse the mind. 
Admittedly, what the hell is this guy's win condition? I have no uh, complete no clue. Okay, he got rid of the cry of the Carnivru. Okay, nine cards left, boys. Nine cards left. I think he's just waiting to see if I can mill myself. That's also an impossibility, honestly. Very interesting. Very interesting. Currently, it's definitely a battle of the titans. Ah, it's fun to a degree because you don't experience uh, control decks versus control decks in the, this much of a late game portion of the game. So he definitely has counter spells. The question is, does he try? Okay, that's good. So three counter spells. At the maximum, he has two of his. Well, let's see. I do, he does, I do, he does, I do, he does. So I need a fourth counter spell and he we can mill him. I need a fourth counter spell and we can easily mill him. That's essentially what it boils down to. Also, what the hell does it boil down to that we have currently a 33% chance to draw a search for a scan that we have still not drawn it. Well played, game. What the hell could he be masterminds acquisitioning? I'm gonna see if he does have counter spells. I'm gonna use one. Hmm, huh, Domin's a cutie. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna let this happen for now. He's most likely trying to find his cleanse the mind. Or, you know, something. Most likely, again, it's just cleanse the mind. Because he's close to losing. And I'm not sure what he can actually get except a Vraska's Planeswalker to win us instantaneously. So, yeah. Hmm. There is a chance also he's out of Mortifies. A deck like this could potentially only hold, hold two or three Mortifies. So, Nicholas Bolas, <clears throat> very, very interesting. Actually, yes, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's actually fine. Okay, so I'm pr just assuming he's currently trying to do something that you know uh, forces us to use counter spells at this point. That's essentially what it looks like. This is gonna bait out his last, most likely copy of Negate if he has it. Wait, did how do you oh that's how you had man. I'm not gonna let this happen though. I feel that this is, on the other hand, the completely best time to do it do it. Okay, he's out of mana, which means that essentially the bolus is dead. Uh search for a skanta. Finally search for a skanta. Jesus Christ, took for fucking ever. Okay, search for a scant, and then, uh, does he kill the search for a scant? I can still play on a little bit. Oh my god, he's dropping the Dovins. He is pretty desperate, I feel. I feel he's definitely pretty desperate. Mortify. Uh, yes, I will allow you to mortify it. No, I'm gonna use the counter spell. At this rate, it looks like... Oh, he does not have counter spells. Good, 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 good. So, we're getting to flip a scant and use cleanse the mind. That's what it looks like. Yeah, and he's running out of cards. As long as I flip a uh, search for a scant and he even gets to reshuffle his whole deck back in, just like me, we are still in the winning position. Because we have search for a scant. And obviously, he doesn't. That can go into the graveyard. Transform. Uh, draw the classical land. And I think that's one counter spell, right? No, that's just a roll. Okay, that's also not exactly bad. Yeah, that's also not exactly bad. He does not have any counter spells, boys. So, essentially, we have 100% one. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. That's the stuff, boys. That's the stuff. And let's just, yeah, he conceded. He knew what's happening. Okay, that was a pretty satisfying victory. Honestly, I really like these control matchups when they go into the late game. Because, yeah, that's that's like one of the rarest things you get to play in this game. So I actually really enjoy playing into it in the late game. 
Not bad. Not bad. You know. So I'm not. Sh I, I'm very sure I lo I won the game only because he somehow fucked up this, uh, the mastermind's acquisition. There was no way. I, uh, there was pretty much no possible way of me winning. Because he got the, uh, because I couldn't stop or find the solution for the early Mastermind's acquisition into a Mirari conjecture. There was absolutely nothing I could have done. So the question is, what did he fuck up? Maybe he had only one clear the mind, but on the other hand, he didn't really have any solution. He didn't have win conditions. At no, he used uh, Mastermind's acquisition so many times, and he did the double Mastermind's acquisition to the sideboard, and he still didn't draw a single anything that it was even threatening. So I'm not exactly sure what the hell that guy tried to do. But yeah, he didn't take the Omniscience bait, because, well, if, if your opponent has, like, one card in his hand, and he drops Omniscience on, like, a 10-plus mana, it obviously does not matter in the least. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty fun last game. Like, I am actually really, really happy about that one. Was fun, was really fun. Even if I would lose, that was pretty fun because, again, you don't get to currently play the control matchups in the late portions of the game, but everything is about timing, waiting out, thinking how many counter spells you need versus how many counter spells he needs, and so on and so on. Good stuff, good stuff, definitely good stuff. So yeah, he didn't have three. Uh, he didn't have three mortifies in his deck, and he didn't have. I, I'm pretty sure he only had one negate, one negate, and most likely three absorbs, or four absorbs. Yeah, but only. Uh, so no, well, we saw only one negate, but he most likely had two though. He most likely had two uh, two negates and four absorbs. That was his deck list for the counter spell. So yeah, if we if we found if we got searched for a scant early on and he couldn't mortify it, we would have won so easily. But yeah, so this was Kuzer since then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Wait, was that right? So so this was Kuzer since then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out my Discord. Check out my Patreon. And have a nice day. Bye bye.